<laughs> you got it, Mama. All right, we're coming. Baby number two is coming. Just gonna move him out of the way. All right, little Mama, you got it. One more big push. You got this. I see toes. Okay, we've got a tail. We're all so far breach. So far both have been breached. There, we've got a baby. Looks like another ginger. All right, little mama, you're up. Get in there, little mama. So I'm gonna give her like seconds to figure out what to do because the baby needs to get started breathing and you can, okay, well that's great. All right, Mama, I'm gonna help you out here. Can you, can you do one more big push? Okay, giving you 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, or one more big push to get the baby and the placenta out. Okay. Well, that's more convenient, at least. Come on, little mama, let's do this. Okay. All right, so she, uh, this, this is a common occurrence, too, that the placenta is still in there. She needs to get the placenta out. You need to push, little mama. Okay. Okay. Uh, the sack has broken, which is good. I'm just going to help dry off the face so the baby's not aspirating on food. Okay. Excuse me. You keep pushing. Okay, we've got placenta. That's good. You okay? Breathing? Okay, and take over. I'm gonna move this guy out of the way. Alright, it's all you. It's all you, Mama. Okay, you're that's not helping. That's not helping. Okay, little one. Here you go, Mom. All right. Oh, is that? Oh no, that's just part of the placenta. Okay, so in a normal in a normal situation, she would be more concerned about the baby than the cleanliness of her paw. There she goes. Good girl. Good girl. He is breathing. Sounds, oops, sounds like he's clear. His lungs are clear, that's good. She's doing a much better job this time. His brother has decided that this is the time to really start getting at that milk bar. Alright, so I'm going to leave her to the placenta. Hopefully she can handle this. The most important part at this stage is that they're breathing and that they're, uh, that they haven't aspirated any fluid and that they're kept warm. So she's doing right now exactly what she should be doing. Thank goodness. So I can sort of take a step back and just let her handle it.
pretty amazing how instinct mm -hmm. kicks in and takes over. You see the difference between this baby and uh, the first baby, which she had no idea what to do with. This guy looks strong. I have not officially uh, sexed him yet, so I'm saying him, but certainly uh, could be a girl. If daddy was a ginger, he could be a she. Definitely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Number one wants to get in on some of that maternal loving. I would say the likelihood of ever having another Marvinos is slim to none. Marvy is once in a lifetime. So that's the placenta there. As I said before, it's okay if she eats it. It's okay if she doesn't eat it. Um, I'm gonna leave it up to her. And I'm very happy that she is uh, doing this part. That's, that's a very good sign. So two gingers so far. She's still working on the cord and the placenta. The placenta is that red thing there. Um, still attached. You're doing such a great job. I'm so proud of you. The only thing that you want to watch for is that the baby doesn't stick his head in there when she's working on the placenta. She's trying to work around him. Doing a great job. Um, so you're going to see some blood on him that's coming out of the placenta. That's totally fine. It's, he's not bleeding. Um, that's just from the placenta. Nothing to worry about. I'm going to move him a little bit like that, though, just so that she can get access to it better. <laughs> he's like, Mom, hurry up. <laughs> So it's okay for him to remain attached to the placenta um, while she figures out what to do. Um, as long as he's breathing and um, not cold. So um, boys will always get their color from mom and girls will get one color trait from mom and one from dad because color is carried on the X chromosome. And girls have two X's and boys have an X and a Y. Um, so, you're doing a great job. <laughs> She's a very mm -hmm. expressive growler. Did she get the cord? She did. Clever girl. So clever. Look, number one is like, why am I not getting attention? Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna grab this because I don't know why everybody thinks that everyone thinks that that's like where they should be rolling around. And I'm going to attempt to put a clean towel on top of this. Dry. Okay, there we go. And you look like you've got a little poop, poop stuck to you. Let's just take care of that. And, um, alright, so we've got partial clean towel. Um, I'm just gonna get a quick weight. Looks like we're having more contraction. Looks like I'm just gonna grab him and get him a little drier. Check his actual gender. Those are testicles. 
Right the little testicles. And let's see how much you weigh. After a little bit of time. So I will give him right back, I promise. I promise. 114. Hey, go, bud. Alright, you guys can get in there. So two boys so far. Number two is a little bigger than number one, and I and I think he might be a little lighter in color. He may be a dilute ginger. Hard to tell when he's wet like that. Um, so she may have a little break before the next one. She may not. I'm going to offer her a snack. See if she's interested. Having babies really hard work. Helpful to offer them. I'm going to give her um, some canned food uh, mixed with water so that she gets some hydration. See if she's interested in that. Mm -hmm. Usually they're pretty hungry. <laughs> Probably a little alarming to see blood on number two there, but um, again, that is just from the placenta, and she will she will get that taken care of when she has a chance. I can help a little while oh, she's busy.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 